Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract markers, including large hotel groups and small family run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Welcome to the Irish in the UK. Coming up on the show this week, we'll be meeting Brian McManus from Supreme Upholstery Limited in Manchester. TR Dallas will be joining us and he'll be singing his brand new song called Why Can't We? But first up, we're going to be meeting a legend from the Roscommon Association in Manchester. Her name is Maureen Fox and she recently celebrated her 100th birthday. Maureen immigrated from Castlereagh in County Roscommon when she was only 17 years. She has been involved with the Roscommon Association in Manchester along with her late husband Frank since the very first day it was formed back in 1987. Maureen is the current president. We'll also be meeting some of the current members of the Roscommon Association in Manchester. Now we're off to meet Maureen and see how she celebrated her big day. Oh, the lambs are playing in the fields, the tulips were in flower. When I left the home that I love so well, I never forget the hour. Before me was the Atlantic waves to a home in Tennessee. And I left behind me the girl I love, she's the rose of Castle Ray. I'm 100 years old today. And how are you celebrating this special day? With friends and family and all. And you've, from all over. and you've received so many cards yes. and beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. Where did all these come from? From all over. The no. Roscommon Association, yes. In London and Birmingham? London and Birmingham. And New York? New York. Yeah. And Boston. Right. Now tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, growing up, I know you come from Castlereagh. Tell me a little bit about growing up in Castlereagh, going to school over there and, and how it was then. Oh, it was lovely. Had a lovely time in school, and the nuns were lovely. Comfort of mercy. And what age did you uh, immigrate to England at? Seventeen. Yeah. When I first came to England, I went to Dunder Road in Birmingham. I was too young to go north until eighteen, and at eighteen I went in. I stayed in Dunder Road for me three years, and from there I moved down here. To Manchester, to very old, in the same place, old. Yeah. Of course, you've been here for 83 years. Oh, and, yeah. And Roscommon is still your home? Oh, yes, yeah, still my home. And would you go back to live there if you could? Tomorrow morning. My goodness. And how long have you been involved with the Roscommon Association? Since the first night. That was back yes. in 1987. Myself and Michael Butler, and Maluli, Mary Butler, and Marie Kelly. I could go on for a long time. And Lynn Connell. Not forgetting Lynn Connell. No. But I know that you're the president, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm president. 
quite a long time. Yes, I like to do the trout method. Well, somebody's got to do it to get the work done. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about meeting your husband, Frank. When did you meet Frank? And oh, I met Frank here. Oh, I met Frank. I was about seven or eight months here. And I was one of these that never wanted to marry. <laughs> and, oh. yeah, and we're very happy. We had 68 years of happiness. Yeah. And you had two lovely daughters. Yeah. That's Maureen and Pat. They live right beside me down the road. And they're very good. Oh, that's nice. Everyone has been good. Yeah. Now, they were telling me earlier on what a keen gardener you are. So tell me oh, about yes. your gardening. Oh, yeah. I sow everything. Everything. Potatoes. Rhubarb, every vegetable, tomatoes, I carry on, I do all that. Oh, you're wonderful. And I've smashed apples. <laughs> of course, the Queen has been in touch with you. Oh, lovely, I got a lovely card from the Queen. And the Irish government? Oh, the Irish government. A lovely check from the Irish government, from Mr Higgins. Oh, going back to Roscommon, I know that you had a lovely presentation as well made to you with a beautiful clock some time back. Oh, yes. Who was that from? The Roscommon Association. In Roscommon. Roscommon. Now tell me about the Roscommon Association here in Manchester. You've had so many big events. Tell oh, we've some good day to do's. And lovely bands. No complaints about anything. We spoke about Frank there. Sadly, you lost Frank, your husband, about four years it's ago. Four, it'll be five years this, July, this January. Yeah. We're very happy. I was married all those years. Frank's faith meant a lot to him, didn't he? And he got a very special presentation from the Pope. Oh, yes. Frank was over and back to Rome and, and all over the Rome and it, like all religious places. And Frank got our school down here, a Catholic school. We had no Catholic school. And if you had money, you went to St. Pat's, the children. If you hadn't, you had to walk two and a half miles over to Corpus. Yeah. Anyhow, he decided he was going to get to school, so we got to school. Right, OK. Very hard work. Tell me a little bit about yourself today. How are you feeling? You're looking fantastic. Do you know, I am fine. Since I last seen you, I had an operation. I had uh, gallstones. I never knew it. But everybody asks this question. What's the remedy for a long life? Plenty of hair work. Right. And keep yourself busy. Somebody told me that the other remedy that you have, that you love sweet things and you love a lot of sugar. Oh, yes. But I don't like food. You don't? No. So how much sugar would you put in your tea? Three or four. In a small little cup oh, like yes. that? And I wouldn't drink out of any cup unless it's a china cup. We had much at all, but we all had china cups. Yeah. The mugs was for the men, wasn't they? How long has it go since you was back in your native Roscommon? Twelve months ago. I, I go three times a year. Right. It's great flying into knock. Now, Maureen, I'm sure there's so many people that you'd like to say thank you to for this special day, but I know you can't name everybody. No. But I'm sure you'd like to say a general thank you to everybody. I would do. Especially Danny Buck. He rings me three times a week, Cassidy and Glenn. And there's a chap's name I can't, he's a chap there, I can't, doesn't you? Mulligan, Mr Mulligan, he's chairman. I'd like to thank Greg Kelly. And all your friends here in Manchester. All my friends in Manchester and in Castlereagh. Thank you, Maureen, for joining us on the show today. Many congratulations on celebrating a hundred years. God bless you, and I hope you'll be here for another hundred. Well, I have no intention of going. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll do it to 110. Now go then. We would like to say a very happy birthday to our friend and president of the Roscommon Association Manchester, Maureen Fox. Known by many and loved by all on both her native Roscommon and here in Manchester, 
a pillar of the community, sharp, feisty and forever youthful as a hundred years young. But we think we know the secret to her long, full and happy life. Her daily dose of strong tea with plenty of sugar. Cheers, Cheers. Laurie. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Maureen. We just wanted to send you a special message from the Franey Galvins in Manchester. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful lady and such an integral part of the Roscommon Association here in Manchester. You've kept it going through thick and thin and you're absolutely amazing. I don't know what we do without you. And you look amazing as well. So happy birthday to you. Hi, Maureen. Just want to say um, have a wonderful birthday such a special milestone, almost as special as yourself. Uh, you still only look about 70 years young. Um, thank you very much for always uh, taking care of me, for inviting me onto the Roscommon Association and looking after me uh, throughout the Queen of Roscommon festivities. Uh, they are memories I shall treasure forever between yourself and Frank. Uh, you deserve the most wonderful birthday and we hope to see you soon. Happy yeah, 100th, 100th birthday, birthday Maureen. Maureen. All the best. Happy birthday, Maureen. Can't believe you're 100. You look absolutely fabulous. Love you loads and I can't wait to celebrate. Hopefully very, very soon. All the best. Take care. Love you lots. Bye. Well done, Maureen, on your 100th birthday. Hope you had a nice time. True of scum and woman. Hope to meet up soon. God bless, Francis. Bye. Hello, Maureen. And be happy about it here when you're 130. We'll see you soon when things quieten down. God bless you. Well, I got my luggage in the boot. Soon I'll be free wheeling. Heading down that road to a county in the west. I'm all alive, and to tell the truth, I've got this lovely feeling. For tomorrow I'll awaken in the place I love the best I'm gonna meet my friends tonight in the county of Roscommon To see your ancient abbey, Forest Park and Lockheed To watch the boats below the bridge as I cross the river Shannon I'm at home among the Rossies, they're the heart and soul of me I'll call to see my relatives in Dysart and Lake Carroll Ah, we meet old friends in Strokestown, Lissacol and Castlereagh In Grand Lahan, where an angel lives, that's my Auntie Mary She's a gentle-hearted lady and she means the world to me Many congratulations Maureen and we wish you the very best of luck for good health in the future and enjoy life. A big thank you to the Roscommon Association in Manchester as well for all their cooperation. Now we're going to take a little break and we'll see you very soon. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. The Warrington Irish Club, 
83 Orford Lane, Warrington. A friendly and welcoming club, keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night. Tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports shown on the big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and crafts. Pop in for a friendly welcome and to book your event at the Warrington Irish Club, give Frank a call. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Buckhurst Plant Hire, operating nationwide and supplying equipment to the construction, civil engineering and utility industries. Buckhurst is synonymous with quality equipment and excellent service. Call us today. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Do you want to work with the UK's leading trades and labour supplier? Danny Sullivan Group operate on the largest, most prestigious infrastructure projects across the UK and you can be part of our dynamic team. Here at the Danny Sullivan Group, people are at the core of everything we do and here's what they had to say. A family run business with family values. Because it has a caring and respectful working environment. Knowing I'm going home safely every day. We are now recruiting and you can register online today. Welcome back. Now during this pandemic, a lot of businesses have been closed down. Some have been closed down temporarily and other ones have been closed down for good. Now recently we went along to meet Brian McManus from Supreme Upholstery in Manchester, which is a relatively new company, to see how they've been dealing with the close down and also to see how they're faring up in this current environment. <laughs> Brian, tell me, during this COVID-19, how have you been coping here? Well, to start the year, it's been, it was very, very good. We had a great start to the year and then obviously COVID kicked in and uh, it really affected us badly. We had to close. We had uh, a big order for a hotel group of 80 sofa beds that had to be finished at the end of March. And on the 24th of March, we had to close the factory because of the lockdown. So they didn't go anywhere. Hotels wouldn't take anything because they weren't open. And uh, that had a really big effect on us. And then, of course, uh, the lockdown came. So how did you manage to cope with all that? Well, like everybody else, we had no option. We, we were actually closed for seven weeks. And we, you know, there's only so much work we could do at home because everything we do involves machinery and obviously all the machinery is in the factory. But after seven weeks, we came back in again and uh, we had domestic customers who had placed orders before COVID uh, kicked in and uh, to the extent that it did. You know, we'd made them in three weeks and then had to close again. Yeah. So we closed for a further three weeks and we've been back in since. Now, of course, it's been a really difficult time for all sorts of companies out there on the high street. And of course, yourself, you've suffered so, so much. But how is it, how is it picking up now or how is it shaping up since you come back? It's, it's been slow. 
you know, it's been very slow because we've still got the contract market that we do a lot for. Uh, the hotels are still not taking much, but domestic, uh, they're coming back out again, coming in to visit us in our showrooms. As you know, we've got two showrooms here and uh, the people are coming in. The orders are starting to come in again, albeit it's slow, but they're starting to come in a lot better than they were a few weeks ago. So we can see a turnaround and, you know, we will get there because our name's getting out there and there's more and more people putting their name round who's bought from us and are delighted with the service they've got, the quality of furniture and the designs that we have made for them. You use a special, unique service, I would say, because obviously I could come to you today with the strangest design and the strangest colour and you can make it for me, you can manufacture it, you can put it together and you do it at a reasonable price. Yeah, everything's a challenge, but yes, we like to take a challenge on. Uh, and, you know, I think a lot of people are amazed by the prices that we charge because even although it's bespoke, it's not extortionate in price. And for Irish people, of course, I know you were offering this last year and I'm sure it still continues that me a Galway man, of course, I'd like a sofa in a Galway colour. So can yeah. you still do the colours, the county colours and all that? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do that. And uh, we've made some stools up in the county colours. Yeah. Uh, I think we put a couple into the Irish Heritage Centre. So, yeah, we do that, you know, I make them up. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy this shoe sofa off you today because uh, I've fallen in love with this. Yeah, that was a novelty thing, the shoe. Teresa was on holiday and uh, when she came back again, she said to me, I've got a challenge for you. And the challenge was, could we make a shoe? She was in a shoe shop when she was over in Ireland. And when they were trying on their shoes, that's what they sat on, something <laughs> like that. So. So we made it up and as, as I say, it's a novelty, but it lets people see what we can actually do. Yeah, of course, it's been a tough year for everybody and everybody needs a bit of support now. And now is the time that you need the customers coming through the door. Oh, we do, and, yeah. Yeah, and hopefully to, to get, the, get your company going again because you do wonderful work here. You've got wonderful, you know, material and beautiful beautiful sofas and uh, we need to get you we need to get you selling them now Brian so tell us how people can uh, contact you well if you can see across the screen here that all our contact details are there and uh, we're open 7:30 till 4:30 Monday to Thursday 7:30 till uh, half past 12 on a Friday and Saturdays by appointment we tend to get a lot of people coming in Saturday mornings and you always provide a nice, friendly service. We do our best and they, uh, you know, they always get a nice cup of tea from Teresa. It's great to know that Supreme Upholstery are doing so well in this climate. And Brian McManus and Teresa McCarthy, who are both partners, do a wonderful job and if you need some lovely furniture you know where to go. Now next up TR Dallas has been entertaining us for over 50 years. Of course he made his first gig here in Manchester at the Carousel Club and TR just released his brand new song called Why Can't We. Here's TR. Hello everybody TR Dallas here. I'm in the company of Patsy McCormick, my cameraman today, and I'm delighted to get the opportunity of coming on the television and saying hello to all you lovely people. And thank my good friend Martin Logan, who has a fantastic programme on every week, all about the Irish in Britain. I've been coming to Britain for a long, long time. In 1970, I played my first gig at the Carousel Club in Manchester. That was a beautiful place. And the, the big glass stage, I'll never forget that, that, that particular venue. And of course, then the Ordre and all the other places around Manchester and all around England. Uh, you know, England has been very good to me and the Irish in England have been brilliant to me. Gave me great support all of those years. And there's one particular lady now that I want to mention. Uh, her name is Maggie O'Malley and she comes from County Mayo, which lives in Manchester. 
and the Maggie will be celebrating her 105th birthday in February 2021. So with the way things are going and with the virus, we won't be touring for a long, long time. And we, uh, you know, probably won't be back, well, definitely not this year. And it could be into the middle of next year before we get back. It's, it's creating terrible problems for so many people, so for families and friends. And we're living in very, very strange times. But the music business has been good to me and uh, I always look forward to touring and meeting the people, you know, having the chat and you meet family and friends that you don't wouldn't see maybe for years and you meet people you haven't seen for a long, long time. But anyway, once again, I want to say hello and thanks to Martin Logan for giving me the opportunity. And hopefully, you know, Martin might play one of my songs real soon. He's been very good to me. This is a great program that he does. And it's great because I do see it myself on the television and all, every week, all the different places and people he meets along the way. And uh, it's great and long may it continue. So thanks very much to each and every one of you. And uh, I do hope to see you sometime soon. Mind yourselves, keep safe, keep well, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Look how the wind carries the sea. See how the soil supplies what it needs. The rain falls, the sun shines, and the flowers break free. And it all works together. Why can't we? Why can't we? Why can't we? I can love you And you can love me seen children at play in the park skin shades of ivory red yellow and dark well my eyes saw colors the little hearts could not see they were playing together Thank you, TR. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show and we wish you the very best of luck with your lovely new song. Now that brings us to the end of the show for this week. Don't forget, Henry McGlade is back with his show from County B.O. next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And we are here at the usual time of 7.30. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time.